Hey guys, good morning. Hi. Hope you're all doing well on this fine Wednesday. Um, we are tuning in now for the ep let's see here, episode number 11, 11 of Coffee with Home Love. So I thought this might be an, a really good time of year to talk about homestead exemption. I know, fascinating, fascinating stuff. So basically, for your primary residence, you get a break on your taxes um, if you file your homestead exemption. Um, so this is really kind of directed at people. <laughs> hey, Sherry. <laughs> oh, hey, mom. Our moms are here. Isn't it great, y'all? We've got support from the mamas always. Thank you. Um, so really, I'm talking to people who uh, purchased a property to use as their primary residence last year. Or those of you who never filed for their homestead exemption on their property. And um, you can check that by looking at your tax record. Um, you can look up your tax record on hcad.org. It's hcad.org if you're in Harris County. That's the Harris County Appraisal District website. Um, you can search by your name or your property address and take a look at um, you know, whether or not you actually have a homestead exemption on it. If you're having trouble looking at it and you know, you want to know, give me a shout. I will help you. Um, so, and the cool thing about, you know, if you have actually owned the property for a little while and you just haven't done it, I think they allow you to go back a couple of years. So um, I would contact them if you need to go back um, retrospectively. Um, but I will say this, Harris County made some changes I guess it was probably a little over a year ago. They added an app to make life easier. So they've made it such a simple process. You no longer, if you're just filing for your regular homestead exemption or your over 65 exemption, the cool thing is they do allow it for the over 65. You no longer have to mess with this form and sending it in and making sure they received it and all of that. Um, they've got this handy dandy app that you can look up under the app store. It's the, it, you can search for HCAD or Harris County Appraisal District and download this app. And it's super simple. All you need, you're just gonna go on here and put file new exemption. Let's see if I can do this backwards. <laughs> um, they're saying, you know, it, this only works for your general homestead and your over 65 exemptions. Um, basically you can only qualify for the homestead if you own the property and occupied it as your principal residence on January 1st of the tax year. So, um, the filing period for this is from January 1st until April 30th of the tax year. But it does say after the deadline for filing is passed, you may file a late application if it is filed no later than two years after the delinquency date for taxes. So you can kind of go back a little bit. Okay. So what you need is your occupancy date and you're going to fill that in. And really the only other thing that you're going to need is you're going to have to have uh, changed your driver's license over to your new address. So um, you can go on to, you, you can do that online. So once you do that online and you get your driver's license in, you just take a picture of the front and back of your ID, upload it into the app and it files it for you. Super simple. Yay you know, so much easier than before. Um, so do that and get your break on your taxes. Um, you know, other counties like Liberty, Montgomery, they still kind of have like this older format of doing it, but still do it. Um, and if you have any questions about that, you know, don't hesitate to contact me because I can help you. Um, we just kind of wanted to go over that for a couple of minutes. And I think we're going to talk about, oh, let's talk about mega open house weekend. Yay. Okay. So we have two open houses that we're going to be holding on Sunday and uh, we're super excited about it. We're going to have hot cocoa for the kids. We're going to have king cake. Um, if you guys want like an adult version of your hot cocoa, we will have offerings. Um, so please, you know, it's going to be chilly, but get out and come see us. 
it's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to be at my new listing at 12918 Fremont Peak over in Behringer Place. This house is beautiful. Oh, uh, it's gorgeous. So Six bedrooms, four car garage, beautiful house. Um, and that one's listed at 475. Um, we're going to be there on Sunday from 12 to 2. And then after that, we are going to transition over to uh, my new listing on, it's going to be at 17327 Cornell Falls Court. Um, that one will be listed today. Um, it is, well, it's in the best location <laughs> really because is. it's in Hawthorne Ridge. So it's right across the street from Atascocita Springs Elementary and the splash pad and all of that. Um, and the neighbors there are just awesome, awesome people. And it's in this cul-de-sac, you know, that's always got kids out there um, running around, having a good time. And the, the parents, everybody, they're just so much fun. They're, they're just such good people. So whoever purchases this house is really going to be um, looking out with the neighbors. Yeah. So come check it out. You're probably going to see exactly what I'm talking about um, if, you, if you come out for mm -hmm. the open house. That's going to be um, from 2 to 4 on Sunday. Um, so we will be there as a team serving up hot cocoa, king cake, going to have a good old time. So, and it has the extra bedroom. Oh yeah. That one actually has an extra, it's a five bedroom. So it's got an extra bedroom and bath on the first floor. Um, and it's got a huge lot. Um, if you kind of want to check out what that lot looks like, look back on my Facebook page because I went through it with a 360 camera a few days ago. Um, it was kind of bright out there. So it made it look a little crazy, but you can see, uh, what the yard looks like. It's an, it's amazing. Um, anyway, really looking forward to that. Um, we've got a few things that are yeah. coming up. Kind of calm down after the holidays. Yeah. But, um, yeah, there's so. not a whole lot going on this time of year because everyone's over it. <laughs> <laughs> but if you want to go and have some fun, adult fun, Norman Stooling Piano over in Humble is having a I Love the 90s night on the 18th. Sounded like a lot of fun. Well, it sounds like a lot of fun to us because, <laughs> uh, you know. We're that age. Yes. <laughs> and if you wanted some family fun, Jesse Jones uh, Park is doing Arbor Day on the 19th. And you get cool. to take home a free sapling. They're going to be teaching about um, That's awesome. tree care and how to plant and all that kind of good That's stuff. That's super so cool. Yeah. That. Awesome. It's okay. our most exciting news. Oh, yeah. The most exciting news that was announced <laughs> this week is that the wonderful people over at Chimichurri's who we love. Those are such great people over there. Um, they are taking over Sharkies. We thought Sharkies was it coming back, which was heartbreaking. Um, but they are gonna, they're buying it out, taking it over. Um, the same concept, same location, hopefully the same menu. I'm sure, you know, oh, they're probably, oh uh, yeah. I, I can't imagine that they would do it without all of their, you know, the things that we all love. Um, so super excited about that. Not sure how long it's going to take them, but it's probably going to take them a good bit because, um, mm -hmm. that the last time we went by there it really wasn't much that's been done with it at all. So, um, it's probably going to take a bit, but, uh, be looking out for that on the horizon days on the patio at Sharky's will be returning. Yay. Um, Okay, so I think that's pretty much all we have for you today. Um, if you have any questions about anything, we are always here. If there's something you want us to cover on our weekly show, we would be happy to do it. Um, and I hope you guys, uh, well, we're about to have a cold snap, aren't we? So. Yeah. Okay, so it's bundle early. up. Get ready, Texans. It's about to be on. Okay, y'all have a beautiful day. Bye. Bye.